But yeah, I mean, we've, we are just raising a bunch of kids. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, are we, are, is it three? Are we three and out or are we, are we? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Honest. That's a fair, that's, yeah, that's, we no, don't know. that's fair. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Um, we've talked about adoption in the past and we're praying about it and we're talking about it and we're trying to see if that's right for what we are. But three, three in a pandemic under four is really tough. So we're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. is this something that we're capable? Cause we want to be present for if we bring another child into it, whether it's natural or it's, um, you know, through an adoption agency. So we're just trying to kind of, um, tread water now, see what we want to do and be present because we really want to be present for each of our children's chapters mm-hmm. and then see from there, like, Hey, is this something that we want to take on? Cause it's a huge responsibility to bring another child in, whether it's again, uh, through pregnancy or, um, any other means. Mm-hmm. Say all the ages again. Four, two, and one. Woo! Ooh, Catherine. Busy, busy. <laughs> oh my Man. God. The last one, that last one was a surprise. And I was very, I was very um shocked. <laughs> I, I like, didn't know that was a surprise. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I didn't know that. Yeah. We, I was 11, like our, our youngest was 11 months at the time. And I found out the day before my birthday. And I was like, I need some time. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fat for four years now, and like, I was like take it really hard. Um, but she's like a beauty. She's such a gem, and we love having her. She's just so loved by the kids, and mm-hmm. uh, she's a her very strong personality. So I'm 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 trying to learn from other moms with very sassy girls mm-hmm. and see how to handle it and what to do because it's a lot. I'm like just anticipating okay, how I'm gonna handle this because I know she's gonna be opinionated. Mm-hmm. And that's an awesome thing for a girl. So just like, okay, how do I channel it? Not towards me, maybe. Right. See where we can put that energy. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been awesome. We love being together. So just wait Aww. till she gets to middle school. It doesn't matter like what kind uh, of I mom you not. are. I feel like, oh <laughs> man, Rachel and I were just talking about how. Well, I, not for Rachel because her her dog is a gem. I'm like, I can't even handle one dog right now. Like. So kudos to you to raising these three beautiful babies in it, like in the midst of this pandemic. Um, how are the boys taking to her? They're obsessed with her. And it, it's interesting to see the dynamic that the boys bring individually. So Samuel makes her laugh. And like, that's what he wants to do is like make her laugh and be there for her um, to be silly. And then Isaiah is somebody that who uh, nurtures her, who goes mm-hmm. up to her and just kisses her. And he t- it's such a sweet um, just dynamic between each of them and their relationships with each other. But there's mm-hmm. something special about Isaiah and Mia, which is the two and the one. They're like babies together, but they act very, very close. And, and it's kind of interesting because you know that your, your kind of personality is very well crafted very early on. Mm-hmm. And I can see them being best friends forever. Uh, and like how they treat each other and how they respond to each other. So it's, it's really cool. And I'm just like trying to witness it and take in everything that they do together. It's a very mm-hmm. special bond. Oh, yeah. hopefully you have a lot of scrapbooks. Yes. I have like 20,000 pictures on my phone and I don't know what to do about it. Cause my phone's like <laughs> so slow. I'm like, why is my phone slow? Like, yep. Document oh. everything. <laughs> All of the things. Is, is Mia walking yet? Yes, she's uh, climbing and we don't have a baby gate. Like we've never baby proofed anything in our house. So <laughs> we're like, let's see what happens with the stairs. And we're mm-hmm. just, she's she's good about it. She'll walk all the way up the stairs and crawl up there. And then at the top, she'll just be like, okay, I'm ready to come down. And she'll just kind of scream. Oh my um, gosh. So it's kind of like, okay, well, they at least know risk and they know how to do things safely. So we're not. It's it's been very interesting, and she's she's just running all over the place. She's trying to keep up with her brothers. Which is I was funny. just going to say she wants to keep up with the boys, and then she always has have them. She has them to protect her. I'm sure. Yeah, and but she's also like I can do this on my own. So it's it's really fun because I didn't grow up with boys. Really, I grew mm-hmm. up with two oh, sisters. No, me neither. And I don't know anything about boys. I'm learning it. It's weird because you're mm-hmm. like, oh, that starts early. <laughs> 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 Okay. Okay. And I'm just like learning a lot more about my husband through seeing babies that, you know, 
wiener. And you're like, mm-hmm. what do you do with the pictures? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like really comes out of the womb. You guys do this. So I'm <laughs> I'm giving my husband less of a hard time. Yeah. 